Oh, ooh. where are we? You're up then. Sharla. What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan, um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Rhine I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Hmm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally. That's the Rhine I know. Um, back there. Were you talking about that guy, Gabbo? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> right. Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. Hello, oh, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. The last time, we reunited with Fiora, and we still have no idea where the rest of the where the rest of the party is. But we did reunite with Ryan and Charla as well. And today, we are going to try and search for the others. But of course, not before grabbing this Ether Crystal deposit. I don't know why. It's kind of a weird placement for it. But anyway, this is probably like a turning point in terms of character development. Because just so much goes on, at least for Ryan. Like, Ryan. Ryan it really. Whoa. Okay. Did anyone. Okay. Um, Ryan really has changed a lot since we first started things here. I mean, yeah, he's kind of still an idiot but you know he's not an idiot he's not an idiot in like a bad way you know he's um i don't know he's not intellectual but he's still you know you know what i'm trying to say he has empathy <laughs> but anyway let's run up here and see what lies ahead uh yeah What's that sound? Someone's in a fight. Up ahead. Shulk! Ryan! 
I'll call you back. We'll turn them into scrap. Right. All right, we have the original three party members back in action. Uh, let's just focus on this dude. Uh, as I say that, I accidentally switched to the other guy. Um, these guys are level 52. We're all two of us are level 56. This should not be too difficult. Wow, Charlotte's actually kind of really low level compared to the other two. That's what I get for using XP up gems. It's kind of the downside to it, but yeah, these guys are not a challenge at all, so let's just use Lariat and let's finish him. Good to see you. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan! Ryan, it's you! Fiora! She remembers us! Yeah. She's been through a lot. I can see. Wow. If only we could find Dunban. Yeah. He'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry? When no one's watching? Yep. He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. Nope. I don't believe it. Take it easy. Oh, I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. I can see. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get. You ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? Take it as a compliment. Ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Yeah, wouldn't miss it. God, I love this part of the game. I can't, I can't help it. This, this part is just so good. I don't know, everything about it is just great. But I want to switch Fiora back into the party, of course, because she is the new the new member of the bunch, and uh, like I said last time, I think I said it last time, she's like my favorite character, but that's beside the point. Uh, we have quite a bit, uh, quite a ways to go. So, oh wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not going the right way, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's try that again, we have to go through here. And um, I was like, wait, why, why is a quest marker in the opposite direction? Um, we discover the fifth pulse zone, and if we look down there, there's a bunch of monsters. Now, okay, seriously, what? Th that thing really aggroed me. <sighs> All right, one second. Anyway, let's collect this loot. Okay, vision, really? At a time like this, they needed silver antel fibers to restore Colony Six's commerce. This is this is the last of the eight that Juju asked us to collect. Jesus, I'm gonna need eight of those damn things. Ugh. Well then, I'm going to be busy with that. Uh, at some point, I don't know when. I don't know what. I don't know what level of commerce I'm gonna need those for. But anyway, if we hop down here, uh, one there's an ether crystal deposit. It's electric. Okay, that's earth. It's, they look the exact same. I swear, they're like the same color. Whoa, Shulk, calm down. Uh, but if we run over here, I believe there should be a unique monster, or not? Oh wait, it's a, yeah, a fluent belleth. Okay, another vision. Are you kidding me? Jesus. They said they re- Oh. Another Colony 6 item. Okay. I wonder what they would want rainbow slugs for. 
Okay, well, maybe I do... Okay, I, I don't mind. And all these things are attacking me. I'm gonna run. What the hell? Okay, well, I was gonna run away, but you know what? I don't want to. I want to show Fiora a bit more. Let's use her Talon Art. Uh, cannon Drones. It fires a huge beam in a line, and uh, we'll be seeing uh, some other of her Talon Arts. Because, like I said, uh, she does she does have more than one. They'll change depending on what her feed equipment is. But uh, let's use Double Wind. Get the Burst Affinity. We can get a chain attack going, but I don't really think that's necessary. So let's just. Eh. I'm actually kind of tempted. Nah, you know what? Screw it. I don't even want to. There's no point. So let's just finish this thing off. Eventually, at some point, we can do that. Okay. <laughs> that is so you, Ryan. <laughs> you two never change. Okay, I was talking over that dialogue, so I'm just gonna edit that, like, edit out my dial, my microphone while they're talking, because I kind of want to hear what they said now. I don't think that's a dialogue we've heard before. Um, but we, Jesus, I'm getting lost. Where the hell do we need to go? We need to go over there. Okay, <laughs> I'm okay. I can't, I can't seem to figure out where I'm going. I can't get my bearings. Um, but yeah, we, there's no way we can take on that unique monster, so we'll be coming back for him later. Um, but for the time being, uh, let's head up here. Let's head up here. <laughs> Is there anything? Oh, okay, item warp's cool. Uh, and another freaking vision. That's the last of the five digital filaments. Now Rizaka can fix the door of her house. Not Colony 6, I don't really care, but whatever. We got something at least. What's this? Ice kiwi fruit again. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm I'm surprised I got two items for Colony 6 already. That's... At least I know where to find them now. I mean, I usually look it up anyway, but... Anyway, we run up here and we discover Radio Carpea. Carpea? I don't know. Um, so let's hop down here. And let's check out what's up ahead. Or, no, not quite yet. I, I, I lied. Now let's check out what's up ahead. After she takes 2,000 damage from falling. What is it? I can hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sounds. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! Stop for Ricky. Oh, Ricky very hungry. And Ricky sleepy. If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. What's this? Here upon Ricky, have big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish taste yum yum. Ah, dum dum eat too. I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. Oh, Ricky very tired. But Ricky very hungry too. <laughs> How considerate of you. Oh, Ricky not understand dum dum. Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason, you ask. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky glad Dundan like yum yum fish. Yeah, thank you. Tired, 
But Ricky tired too, and Dundon not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear Dundon's story. Ricky listen carefully, for Ricky is the hero bond. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yeah! Ricky, listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dundun take care of them. Hmm? Dundun watch over Shulk. Dundun watch over Fiora. That is all a Daddy Pon can do. Ha! Ricky make mistake! Dundun not Daddy Pon! Well, I am her older brother. But just like Daddy Pon, watching over family. Same watch over. Dundun do what he must. Ha! Huh. Who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little Pon. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little Pon. Ricky know some things. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe! Everyone's strong! Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here! Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. Ah. I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. And once again, we get an absolute crap ton of, ca of character development. It... this... Like I said before, this is just a gigantic turning point. It, it really is. This, I mean, this alone made me like Ricky. Um, because previously I never was really a big fan of him. Like, I thought he was kind of annoying. But after seeing that, and kind of just considering everything else that he's done, it made me realize how just awesome Ricky really is. Um, so I, I hope that if you didn't like Ricky before, I hope you do now. Um, but anyway... Let's head forth. A village in a place like this. Malia! Shulk! Guys! You're all right! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> and... <laughs> we found Fiora. Dunban! Fiora, do you remember me? Mm hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, dear brother. Shulk, is that your childhood friend? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And what is this place anyway? <gasps> 
These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. The people of Mekonis. Machina? You mean... machine people? You look as if you have many questions. But please, take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. With the whole party back together, let's, well, once again, switch it up. I want to have Fiora, Shulk, and Dunban. Yeah, there you go. I think I like that combination a lot. So, I got anything started. We have the story quest. We made it. We found everyone. We're all safe. We complete that. Um, I didn't even realize we had that quest to begin with. So, we discovered Junks on top of that. That's probably a good thing to discover because it's a landmark. So... We are here, and this is quite an interesting place. This is the first time we've ever seen the Machina, so let's talk to a few of them. We met Carlos and Natalia. Natalia, they fell from the sword a year ago, now they live here. They're Homs, believe it or not. If you haven't spoken to them yet, you really should. Thinking about it, there's another Homs living quite near the village. I remember seeing him around Digit 2. He said his name was Theo, if I recall. I know a Theo. I like Theo, he's a cool guy. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but I want to go to this shop. Because there is some pretty good equipment here. It's just kind of expensive. Um, and a lot of it is for Fior. Actually, most of it is Fior. Most of the armor is. Um, but we also have um, the Brave series of uh, light equipment. Which I don't... I'm not sure if we've seen it before. We might have, and I just don't remember. But there's no Brave Top, which... Okay, I thought they sold it here, but I guess not. And we also have a bunch of these Machina, uh, Machina items, which have anti mecha on property, so in case you were worried about that, they will be able to damage mecha on. Uh, we don't really need any new weapons for Fiora right now. Hers, the ones that she uh, came with are pretty good, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I do want to buy a sword for Dunban. Um, it probably wouldn't be too bad for Ricky either. Yeah, I know. I'm going to buy some weapons real quick. In addition to those weapons, I'm also going to buy a ton of Brave Caps. And every other Brave item that I can get. As for this unique equipment, it's all for Fiora, so I'm going to go over what, you, what each of them does. The Speed Goggles give aggro down 4. The... okay, that was weird. Um, the Speed Frame gives haste 5. The uh, Arms give agility 4, and these also give agility up 4. The Attack Goggles give Arts Heal 4. The attack frame gives attack stability for the attack arms gives strength up for and the sh boots the boosters uh, attack boosters also give strength up for the power goggles give aggro up for the power frame gives damage heal for the power arms give good footing five and what do you know oh never mind I was gonna say that these also have um uh, these also have uh, what what was the other thing of good footing five but it doesn't because it fall anyway. <clears throat> So those are all of the uh, unique uh, unique pieces of equipment for Fiora. But we also have Fre Freja drones, which give gun drones one. This will change Fiora's talent art, and I don't think I really want to buy that. So what I'm going to do is buy power goggles, and then buy everything else from the speed set. Because like I said last time, I do want to make Fiora sort of an agility tank. So I will do that. And we also have a bunch of art books, and I'm going to buy Burninate... Uh, double blade wouldn't be bad. Headshot is for Sharla. I don't know if we have that yet. I think we do, so... I don't know. I don't think I'll buy an art book for her, though. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to outfit everyone now. Alright, so here's how everyone's looking. Fiora looks 
really cool actually with all that blue stuff, although the power goggles kind of look ridiculous. I wish the speed uh, the speed goggles gave agility, I mean uh, aggro up instead of aggro down, because honestly, I don't, like it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but I guess power goggles were meant for uh, if you want to make Fiora sort of a health tank, so I guess I can see that, but that's how she's looking. Dunban looks relatively the same, except his Machina sword, um, if we just kind of rotate him and just wait for it for a second. He has the freaking beam sword from Super Smash Brothers. I'm gonna be on this. Uh, oh god, it's so cool! I love it so much. That's one of my favorite weapons. Uh, Shulk looks the same, except I just gave him the Brave Cap. Uh, Ricky's the same. Ryan, I changed around. I don't really know what uh, what gems to give him, so I'm gonna have to work work on that some other time. Charlotte is exactly the same, and Melly is exactly the same. So there you go. That's everything I want to do in the way of equipment. So now that we got all that out of the way. Um, let's head down here and talk to Lenata, who honestly has balls on her f fucking, like, ball sack on her head. I'm, I, I, she just does, okay? I did, she, she does. Sorry if I ruined Lenata's character design for you, but let's listen to Lenata. So, are you Mekon? In one sense we are, and in another we are not. It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mekonis. So there is life here. Just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your... situation. Just as I thought, you were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. I will take her to my laboratory. The Chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk, I'm... Fiora. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. With that, let's go. However, before we do that, can I zoom out the camera, Jesus? If we head up here, I think if I remember correctly, we should see something special. Fiora, I thought I'd never see you again. You're going to get better, aren't you? Hang in there, Fiora. I'll be back soon. Okay, well, now it's just the same two things. Yeah, just a small little detail that you would, would probably overlook otherwise. There's us. We can also talk to Sharla. I understand how you feel, but don't worry. I'll take good care of her. And then, actually, does she, have, does she have something else to say? She kept hold of her own thoughts and personality even in that body. She must be such a strong girl. What about Lenata? I need more time to observe her condition. Leave her with me. You can go see the chief. He's waiting for you on the bridge on the lower deck. What is it? I'll take good care of her. Go and see the chief. He's waiting for you on the bridge on the lower deck. Any more? Oh, okay. I thought she was going to go further and, like, kind of get more annoyed. But, uh, anyway, as she said, let's go see the chief. Huh. He's massive. <laughs> I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. <laughs> 
We were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the Monado? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Maconis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He is my son. Your son? Actually, my request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Egil.